Argentina's presidential candidates are preparing for televised debate on Sunday, which could be crucial ahead of the second round of voting. While Mauricio Macri claims a change is needed, Daniel Scioli is promising to keep the current welfare policies implemented by President Cristina Fernandez. The Front for Victory's campaign in the lead up to the November 22 runoff seeks to remind Argentines of the dark track record neoliberalism had on the country last time it was in office and has warned that if it returns to government, it will put an end to the progressive policies of the past decade. Mauricio Macri of the right-wing Cambiemos coalition has quickly cried foul, accusing the Front for Victory of running a fear campaign against them. Don't listen to them. They want to fill you with fear, again, because that's all they can offer. Fear, fear and more fear, because they can't offer you hope. The Front for Victory argues that talking about the Cambiemos coalition's potential neoliberal cutbacks is fair game and is absolutely factual. The ones generating fear are those who want to introduce tariffs on public universities and who voted against free education as recently as last week. Macri generates fear when he says through his spokesman in the energy field that energetic sovereignty is not important to a nation. Like he said today, this means that to him, political sovereignty is not important. The owners of fear in Argentina are the neoliberalists because they have terrorized society from the supremacy of their oligopolistic and monopolistic media. But you only have to look back at Argentina's recent history where right-wing neoliberalism expresses fear through the means of unemployment, poverty, currency devaluation and wage cuts. Opinions on the streets of Buenos Aires in relation to the supposed fear campaign are mixed. Those who install fear in the population are those in the opposition, saying that we are going to run out of dairy supplies or that we will have to import grain. What I'm scared of is the people who are governing us now. Those who come to power next give me hope. Argentina's monopolized mass media, headed by the giant Clarín group, who is a rabid opponent of anything minutely related to the front for victory, have echoed Macri's complaints of a supposed dirty campaign of fear across the hundreds of television, radio, print and online services it owns across the country. It must be said that Macri's complaint has struck a chord with many Argentines who mostly consume anti-government media. But Macri lacks the massive grassroots activism which the Front for Victory has, with thousands of volunteers busily door knocking and walking the streets, spreading the word on what neoliberalism plans to do here in Argentina if it manages to get back into the pink house. Leo Politico Telesur, Buenos Aires.